All I want to know <laughs> is do you live happily ever after? Is she alive? Do you get married? Do you live happily ever after? Well, I can tell you that it's it's probably going to... No, he's very good at that. <laughs> no, and what happens to you? Oh, Do you live happily ever after? The, well, he goes to the same problems that Brian always goes through, you know, yeah. as men do. You know, commitment issues. The works. Does it end well? Let me ask this. Does it end in a way that, as as one of your biggest fans, I'm going to go, oh, fantastic. Well, we have seen it. We we saw it for the first time last mm. week, and uh, and we filmed a couple of different innings and the one that they chose was um you know i felt pretty good at the end of it oh really yeah, yeah that's right but then my whole story is very different in this one is it mm. how so shane i can't say anymore <laughs> <than that. laughs> so when you when you do different endings are you comfortable with that in that sense do you go oh well, geez i hope it's ending b well it was funny we didn't know that they were different endings they they obviously knew in themselves but they they cut the ending that we thought was going to be the ending so, um, and in actual fact, it uh, it left you feeling good. So, um, does that answer your question? It does. <laughs> if you if you feel good, we should feel good. Just go back and without without rehashing the whole thing too much, the uh, the cancellation of the program. How I mean, what happened? So you're travelling beautifully, and then all of a sudden it's off. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that third season we were travelling as beautifully as what we wanted to be. I think we. Were, Television is watched differently now, and and uh, I don't know what happened with the rating system, but our ratings our ratings did drop. We were on we were on our third different night. To be fair, when we we we, mm. we went from a Tuesday to a Sunday to a Wednesday, and and uh, and and the ratings weren't as good as what they had been. Mm. So TVNZ is a commercial operation, and they made that decision. But See, we were I have pretty a disappointed. Opinion. I think that I think that we're a victim of the change in ratings. The, the, there's been a ratings change because of delayed viewing yes you know, my, my sky is a big part of the way people watch television my 17 year old for example doesn't even um watch television anymore he watches everything online and so does the whole generation and i think we're a bit of a victim from, of that i thought our delayed ratings were actually going up but um you know the networks are interested in the instant ratings so we were a victim of i think because in actual fact i've been in shows where no one's watching you and when you when you when you when you're about to end no one cares yeah. but what was the difference with our one was that when they said we were out uh for the last three episodes we just spiked yeah. all of a sudden so someone was watching us yeah, people don't know what they got till it's going do they yeah, and all yeah. of a sudden so, they they so the i think yeah. we're a bit of a victim of the change in yeah. the way people have been watching it and the network kind of freaked out i mean oh yeah no we'll go and we'll get something else. Were you gutted? Yep. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Absolutely. Jeez, you're a lawyer too. Do you think of suing them or? <laughs> <laughs> Can't sue them. <laughs> yeah. I looked into it. No, but, no, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, see, because television is such a complex business, isn't it? So so first yeah. of all, all you want as an act as, as an actor is is is, is jobs. Yep. Once you got a job, you want a great job. Yep. And once you've got a great job and it's rolling, you're thinking, geez, this is a dream come true. Mm. And then all the rest of it to such a, to such an extent is beyond your control, isn't it? Is, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, the great, it's also the great thing about the industry is that you never know what's going to happen when the phone rings <coughs> the next day. And, yeah. and you, if you, you have to live with that mentality. If, you, if you're living with the, the whole uh, in, inside your head that, that this job owes you something, then you're never going never gonna to get very far. I thought in my, in my heart of hearts that it had a six-season run. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was going to be outrageous. Had an outrageous for you, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. At least five anyway, yeah. I thought. Yeah. And, I, and I thought we, um, we could have gone, gone through that. So then what do you make of the campaign to bring it back? I mean, how extraordinary was that? That was brilliant, wasn't it? It was actually. That was headed by um, Jeff Lawson, I think. He was an I think he was an ex CEO of TVNZ, I think. But um, I just put a little I put a little post on Nothing Trivial page that said thanks for the memories. We're under no confidentiality agreement at that point, and I said, Nah, screw it, I'm going to do it. And so I did it. Next thing, went viral. Wow. Went viral over a period of a week. And money got raised. Program got made. Well, New Zealand always wanted us to do another one. That, that was our understanding. Mm. And it would be nice if we could have done another series. But, hey, you, you know, the show could rate through the roof on Sunday. We could get a Christmas special. You're going to bring a Christmas <laughs> Christmas special. <laughs> Haven't thought about that. As far as a role goes, though, Shane, so how, how do you deal with letting a role go, a great role go? Because presumably you loved it. Uh, look, I've had many great roles, and I've had to let great roles go. Hayden and Outrageous Fortune, Loki and Almighty Johnson's had to let those go. But this one was a, was a special role because it was mm. it, the, there was a core cast of a very small core cast of five and we were pretty pretty tight pretty good mates on that one there uh so i kind of never felt as though he's he's gone in my back of my heart i always know that he he could come back you know mm. because 
one, I, I, I don't die. Uh, so I, I, Damn can, I, can, I, can, I can come back and, and do this again. And I, um, and I nicked half his wardrobe. So. Oh, really? Yeah. And how do you handle it? Do you, do you bother about roles? Does it, you know, is a roll a roll, or do you sort of hang on for a while and think that's, you know, that was fantastic? Yeah, well, look, I, I just, I love Brian. I, I really warmed to him. Um, and uh, I was a bit gutted I don't get a chance to play him again. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know. Is Brian a nice guy, or is he just a dick? What do you think? Well... Oh, I'll tell you. I, he's 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 because I'm his best mate on the show. I want desperately to like him. I I do like and him. And that's the great thing about these characters is that and some people come up to me and they say, "God, your character's an idiot," or they love him. So and it's the same for all of them because you kind of know this character. Mm. You know all of them. I mean, they're very middle class. You hang yeah, out are. with them. Um, so I kind of like that feedback. And I the mean, issue if you're feeling nothing. Oh, no, that, exactly. That's, that's yeah, problem. yeah, got to love or hate, exactly. And the issues were real too, weren't they? They were very, very identifiable, real sort of issues. Yeah. I think Rachel and Gavin are, are a writing genius. They've been writing yeah. great television for a long time and award-winning television in New Zealand for a long time. And they're pretty much on the nail of what's what's going on um, inside the community and, and inside New Zealand. And they, they write they write well for, for good New Zealand characters. How do you, and I, I ask actors this often, and it's, pro, it's probably a tedious question, but, but indulge me, the, 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 the sort of the adult scenes, the, 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 the dealing with the, the passion, the, the, in your case, I think, I, was there any nudity, there was a bit of nudity in your case, wasn't there? Yeah, there's nothing like seeing a 40-year-old bloke and naked yeah, on television anymore. Yeah, and, and there was certainly some in yours, oh, yeah. in, in, in a slightly raunchy kind of, oh, yeah. you know, go get them kind of way. Yeah, particularly when you're in your 40-something and, uh, you know, you can't shed the weight quite as quickly as you used to back in the old days. How do you deal with that? <laughs> Because I couldn't do it, is the reason I asked the question. I guess I've, I've been used to it since the Shorty Street days, really. You have too, eh? I mean, it's kind of, you meet someone for the first time. Hi, how are you? All right, let's go do this bed scene. You can't, I mean, you do freak out when you're first starting, but you do get you do get used to it. And after a while, when you're in the scene, because you're worried about, you know, getting the lines right, you know. And I think, I mean, you know, I've only been worked up once. I think <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it was an Angie Bloomfield back in back in the nineties. <laughs> oh, pretty good. <laughs> really, I was, I was stuck there, and she was sitting on top of me for the whole flipping hour. And I was, what could you? An do? hour for about that? Cause what? Because was different shots. We were oh. stuck out in the bush. It was yeah. You probably could YouTube it if you want. <laughs> I, I <laughs> you just apologise. <laughs> really, is that what it is? Yeah. You if you meet someone, you apologise if uh, if. Something happens. What if you don't like the, What if you don't the like the person? Oh, well, it doesn't matter because you're, you're playing a character. The character obviously likes it. Yeah. See, that's the other thing I can yeah. do. I don't think I could be an actor for that very reason. <laughs> I, you you got to go beyond a boundary of you know. I've got to get on with everybody, or else I don't get on with them. If I don't get on with them, I don't get on with them. You know, yeah. I, I can't fake it. it. It is what it is. I think it's a great thing about acting is that, that you get put in um, awfully uncomfortable situations. Yeah. And you just got to deal with it. Right. Yeah. Post the show, mm. you're in Australia. Doing what? <laughs> drumming up business, drumming up work. Yeah, trying to get a. Because you get a do every, don't you do it? You sing and dance and. Well, it, I don't dance. My do wife not, would laugh if you said that. Oh really? Well, yeah. well, 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 you. I saw you at a. What did I see you at the netball one night with a band? Yeah, the band's still going. I've got I've got two bands now. I've got my fifties uh, rock and roll band who's still just it just yeah. plugs away, and I've I've got a new band now which is playing more uh, anthem esque type songs from 80s and 90s which is going going cool. really well yeah, beautiful it's, it's and, you, and you got law is, is law yeah yeah so i just go back to my law firm so yeah geez that must be ideal mustn't it mm. i mean because no matter what happens you got your law firm yeah well i worked pretty hard to get there to be honest so yeah. um did some hard yards um but i've got a you know great group of people i work with at it um, take a print this little firm called the Law Lounge. So it's great. It's, Good uh, on you. Yeah. So that's do you great. have aspirations for the next great role, or if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, I always do, you know, because uh, you know, acting is always a passion. You know, I suppose I always say acting is like you know the woman you you always love and always will, and law is kind of like um, your your wife. Clear yeah. <laughs> <No, it's not. laughs> so, so. Single and awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't he a catch? <laughs> no, 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 but um, yeah, I mean, I'd love to do one of those Sunday. Um, I mean, we're doing one on, I guess, on Sunday for nothing trivial. But I'd love to do one of those true stories. Sure. He's on true stories. Yeah. Maybe well, we'll play Winston Peters. That'd be right, wouldn't it? You'd be good, actually. You there got you, go. you got the face. You got the hair. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to get a bit angry. You look a bit happy to me. You look yeah, a bit. So you look a bit light of foot. Get yeah, a bit, okay. get a bit angry. Anyway, listen. You know I'm a massive fan of it, uh, and, and and it's been a brilliant ride. So um, good luck on Sunday. Hope it does brilliantly well, Thanks. and lovely to talk to you. Thanks, nice.